Hello everyone, welcome back to my video, for this video you will learn how to configure SD1 on FortiGate Firewall. And here is the network topology. We have the ISP1 and ISP2. And for the 1-1 and 1-2 is we called SD-WAN. And here is the 1-1-1-2 and LAN IP address. You can check details about SD-WAN link document in my video description. Here is the document about SD-WAN. This document show you detail about SD-WAN and how to set up SD-WAN step by step. So now let go to our project and do our lap in GNS3. Now let's start FortiGate Firewall and remote to FortiGate via console. For the default login user, admin. And password, no password. Enter new password. After we need to set static IP address on FortiGate to remote access via web browser. And I used port 5 for LAN, so we set IP for LAN to remote from PC client. To set IP on FortiGate enter command, config system interface. And after enter command edit port 5. You see here is the port 5. That's we used for internal network LAN. Now we set port 5 to static mode and set static IP. And after enter command set allow us as ping HTTP HTTPS to allow ping and access on web browser. Enter command end to save configuration. Now we have set local IP address for FortiGate and we can access from PC client on web browser. Now let's start the PC VM. Now go to set static IP for PC client. And here is my static IP for PC client. Now go to open CMD and ping to FortiGate IP address to make sure it ping reachable or not. Ping to FortiGate IP 192.168.1.1. Now it's reachable, so we can access FortiGate on web browser. Go to open your Chrome and enter FortiGate IP address. After enter login user and in password to access FortiGate web interface. And now we log into FortiGate on web interface successfully. For the next step, go to Network and Interface. And here you see FortiGate port 1, port 2, and port 5 are up. And for port 5, we have set the IP address 192.168.1.1. Now we go to edit port 5. And alias enter name LAN. And role, we choose LAN. And here we enable DHCP server to give IP for PC client automatically. 
The default DHCP start from 2 to 254, and you can excluding IP that you want. And for DNS server, we can set specify DNS for client. For example, I use Google DNS 8.8.8.8 and 1.1.1.1. After click OK. So now let go to PC client and check it get IP from FortiGate or not? Enter command IP DHCP. Now the PC client get the IP from FortiGate DHCP server correctly. And enter command show IP to show more detail. Now let go back to FortiGate on web interface. And go to edit port 1. After enter alias name, 11 and choose role as 1. For addressing mode, we choose manual and enter 11 IP address. Here is my 11 IP address. one hundred point ten point ten point ten point two slash 24. After click on OK. And now we go to edit port 2 for set the IP for 1-2. Enter alias name, 1-2. And roll choose 1. After enter 1-2 IP address. And here is my IP address, 200.20.20.2 slash 24. And you can allow any service that you want. For example, I allow only service ping and after click OK. Now we have set the IP for 11 and 12 already. And for the next step, I will show you how to create SD WAN and add 11 and 12 to SD WAN. Go back to FortiGate interface on web and click on SD-WAN. Here is the default SD-WAN. You can use the, the default SD-WAN or you create new one. Now, I will show you how to create new SD-WAN. Click on create new and click on SD-WAN zone. After enter the name, SD-WAN. And then click OK. Here is the SD1 zone interface we just created. For the next step, click on create new and choose SD1 member. After go to interface and choose 11. And SD1 zone, we choose SD1 that we have created. And gateway we enter the IP gateway of 11. Here is my one IP gateway for 11. One zero zero dot one zero dot one zero dot one. Now you see an SD WAN zone interface have a member, 11. And now, we go to add 12 to SD WAN. In interface, we select 12, and SD WAN zone we choose SD WAN. And gateway, we enter IP gateway of 12. And here is my 12 IP gateway. After we add 11 and 12 into SD WAN zone, so both 1 will integrate it.
For my one two gateway is 200.20.20.1. And now you see an SD WAN zone have two member, one one and one two. For the next step, go to SD WAN rules. And here is the default SD WAN rule. SD-WAN rules define specific routing options to route traffic to an SD-WAN member. If no routing rules are defined, the default implicit rule is used. It can be configured to use one of five different load balancing algorithms. This example shows balanced traffic between the two WAN connections. If you select session option is to balance traffic equally between the SD-WAN members by the session numbers ratio among its members. Use weight 50 for each of the two members. Or if you want 1-1 one, one run traffic more 1-2 you can enter amount percent that you want. And for split over option, it's the same session, you can set amount download and upload for 1-1 one, one and 1-2. One, for example, if you set amount download and upload 10 megabytes for 1-1. One, one, so when 1-1 one, one run traffic reach 10 megabytes, it will load balance traffic to 1-2. You can test and check more detail about SD-1 rule in my video description. And for source destination IP, it's the same source IP option. For volume this option to balance traffic equally between the SD-WAN members according to the bandwidth ratio among its members. And for this lap, I choose source destination IP option. For next step, we go to configure static routes. and click on Create New. An interface, we choose SD-WAN. We choose SD-WAN, because SD-WAN are the routing IP gateway of 1.1 and 1.2. And after we go to Policy and Object and click on Firewall Policy. And then click on Create New. Enter your policy name, for example I enter, the name allow SD-1 access to internet. Incoming interface, we choose local LAN. And outgoing interface, we choose SD-WAN. So incoming interface local LAN will allow outgoing throw interface SD-WAN. SARS, we choose all. Destination we choose all. And service we choose all. And then click OK. Now we have already configured FortiGate Firewall. And for the next step, I will show you how to configure on the ISP1 and ISP2 to access internet. Now let go to configure Cisco router on ISP1. Start the Cisco router and remote to Cisco router via console. And then enter command configure terminal to enter privilege mode. Enter command interface Ethernet 0 slash 1. Cisco Ethernet 0 slash 1 we connect it to 40 gate firewall and we call it a 1 1. Now we set the IP for Ethernet 0 slash 1.
and enter command IP NAT inside. After enter command no shutdown to start Cisco router port Ethernet 0 slash 1. And then enter command interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 to set IP for Ethernet 0 slash 0. For Cisco Ethernet 0 slash 0, I connected to cloud. So now let's set the IP for Ethernet 0 slash 0, 192.168.136.250. And subnet mask 255.255.255.0. After enter command, IP NAT outside. And enter command, no shutdown to start Cisco port Ethernet 0 slash 0. And now enter command, IP NAT inside source list 1 interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 overload. And then enter command, access list 1 permit 100.10.10.0.0.0.0.0.255. And enter command, enter back to user privilege mode and enter command right to save configuration. Now let go to PC client and test ping to on one IP address. Now we can ping from PC client to on one on Cisco ISP1. And let test ping to google.com. After we go to configure Cisco router ISP2. Enter command configure terminal. And then enter command interface Ethernet 0 slash 1 to set IP for Cisco Ethernet 0 slash 1. And enter command, IP NAT inside. And after go set IP for Ethernet 0 slash 0. Enter command, interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 and enter IP address for Ethernet 0 slash 0.
and for port Ethernet 0 slash 0, Ethernet command IP NAT outside. And now create NAT enter command, IP NAT inside source list 1 interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 overload. And create access list, enter command, access list 1 permit 200.20.20.00.0.0.0.255. Now go PC client and let test ping. Check PC client IP to make sure it's get IP and DNS correctly. DHCP correctly. Now ping to cloud IP gateway 192.168.136.1. So now PC client can ping to my cloud IP gateway. And now we can test ping to google.com again. If it not working, we need to configure static routes on Cisco router on ISP1 and ISP2. On ISP1 enter command, configure terminal to enter privilege mode. And we enter command, IP routes, and enter 0.0.0.0 and 0.0.0.0 and enter IP route to internet is 192.168.136.1. And then go to ISP2 and create IP root on ISP2. Well done. So now let go to our PC client and let test ping to Google again. Now we can ping to google.com. And now let go PCVM and let test open any website. Now let test open youtube.com. Now you see our PC client can access to the internet. Thanks you for watching my video, if you like this video don't give me a subscribe for more video lesson form my channel. Goodbye.